A Windsor man feels abandoned by the government. That's after a private member's bill called Cassie and Molly's Law was voted down earlier this week. Jeff Durham was in the House of Commons for the vote. The bill called for changes to the criminal code so someone can be charged if they harm a pre-born child when they're accused of harming a pregnant woman. It was named after Cassandra Cake. She was seven months pregnant with Durham's child when she was found dead at the scene of an arson two years ago in Windsor. Cake planned to name her child Molly. Here's a conversation with Durham this afternoon. To see them vote this down, we felt completely abandoned by our, by our government, essentially by our country. They didn't, they didn't vote on a law the other day. They voted on a conversation. They chose to, that it wasn't a problem for them, that this is not a problem. If you read the bill, if you looked at the independent legal analysis, you would see that there was no effect on abortion rights. It doesn't have to do with abortion, but it has everything to do with choice. For anyone to claim that they're pro-choice, but unwilling to talk about this kind of thing, it's very difficult for us to understand. It seems to, it seems to us that it's easier to talk about protecting animals than it is to talk about exactly. protecting a woman when she's pregnant. Why is that? Justice is supposed to be, be a healing process and, and, and it actually feels like it's, part, it's been part of the crime. I don't want anybody else to have to go through this. Neither one of us, and if we have to fight and fight and fight, and like I said, we're, we're, we're gonna. Durham says the family will have to wait for the sentencing portion of the trial if it gets to that. And that's when, maybe, when Cake's pregnancy would be factored into the judge's decision, if at all.